heard of bulletproof vests for police officers, but what about an expandable bulletproof shield that these officers can actually hide behind? Yeah, tonight, Dan Rascone takes us inside the story of this engineering marvel at BYU. I don't know if they tested it on you, Dan, but... <laughs> That's one test I didn't want to take, but bulletproof shields do exist, but how many of them can fold up like a camp chair, be opened up in a matter of seconds, and stop a speeding bullet? Well, BYU engineers say they've made the first one. Cutting, taping, and folding to make origami objects is not something you'd expect to find in a university engineering lab. It's the Yoshimura. But that's exactly what's happening here at BYU. Where engineering students are using this ancient paper folding technique to create this one-of-a-kind bulletproof shield built to protect officers from speeding bullets. That's going to keep you safe. BYU professor Terry Bateman Maybe a, and these students are some of those behind the making of this shield. They call it foldable origami based ballistic barrier. The idea came about last summer uh, as they were thinking angles. of products okay. that could be produced from origami folding. Engineers, uh, if they can think of a new way to, to fold something up, you know, that can be really, really useful. And one idea was thinking of a better way to help protect law enforcement. Yes, they're a bulletproof vest. This is unique, yeah, for sure. But what about a bulletproof shield? One that is small enough to fit in the back of a squad car and light enough to be set up by an officer in seconds. No, you don't have time to wait for something to, to deploy. You've got to be able to have it ready to go right away. The shield weighs 55 pounds. It's designed to protect three people from back behind here and stop a speeding bullet for most handguns. Make it lightweight yet, you know, really be bulletproof. The other challenge was designing the hardware behind the shield. With a deployable barrier, there has to be hinges of some sort, right? So how are we going to make it so that there aren't weaknesses even where there's hinges? The finished product is built out of 12 layers of Kevlar. The most intense and nerve-wracking part of the process Range is hot. was when it was time to put the shield to the test with the help of law enforcement. No one was quite sure what to expect. I was just nervous that it was going to fall over, you know, that it was going to go flying away or something like that. And it didn't. It did really well. It absorbed the bullets. It, they didn't go through. The bullet marks can still be seen on the outside, but they didn't penetrate. Not bad from starting with a cute piece of paper artwork to stopping a speeding bullet. It starts out as an idea, but when you actually see it stopping a bullet, I think it's, that's what's rewarding. Actually has promised to go somewhere and really have a big impact. Yeah, pretty impressive there. Now, Pro Pro Professor Bateman says a shield passed a test of a 9mm, a 357, and a 44 Magnum handgun. Right now, they're in the process of working with two commercial businesses that have an interest in taking this to the streets for officers. For more on this story, go to our website, KUTV.com, click on Features, and Inside the Story. But as I mentioned, I didn't try to test it. No. Not this time. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks like it worked. <laughs>